Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Okay, please subscribe it before you proceed further. Now this time it's going to be very, very, very important information which I'm going to share with you. It is about like we are suffering or many of your friends or family or you yourself, many of the diseases we just go into it. Let's say like for example, somebody is diabetic, somebody is with blood pressure, somebody with different, different ailments. Now cancer is coming high many reasons but when you say like many reasons what are those reasons involved you are not able to diagnose exactly why we are suffering or why people are really suffering to diagnose it where you are missing and the areas where you are really lacking in diagnosis is what going to be this video is all about when i say about a particular disease when i say about a particular disease it is typically like reason for formation of a disease when i say reason world health organizations clearly mentions that health is not merely an absence of sickness it is a disturbances in physical format mental format psychological format social format and spiritual format when world health organization has to include all these formats into it then there are reasons for it so disease is not 100% physical when you say diabetes it may not relate only to pancreas it can relate to liver because liver converts glucose into glycogen it can be your weakening or sluggish liver or liver functioning low so there is no point in treating only diabetes we should really know why am i suffering what are those organs really disturbed because when one organ is disturbed it really means that that organ alone is not disturbed some other organ has to work hard to compensate for their function some other organs will be work low those who depend on those organs so there will be always an high and low so when we manage a particular disease we should manage all the possible factors which are involved in managing disease when i say all the possible factors we should analyze that we have a physical body around us we have a typical physical body around us in this physical body this is where we land up with the physical so called diseases when i say physical diseases your diabetes or blood pressure or it is cholesterol let's say it is an heart issues let's say it is a brain issue whatever it is all these are related to the physical body but do you think it is only with the physical body these things are involved the answer is no because in a home when one person is having diabetes when one person is suffer with blood pressure when one suffer suffer with heart problem another person with brain problem how is that possible a person inside the same house eating normal food at least twice in a day the same kind of food maybe once in a day you will eat something outside but twice in a day you eat the same food it is typically the emotional factors which are really involved and plays a very important role so you need to understand what kind of emotional changes has started inside me and why am i suffering with this problem rather than taking a pill and suppressing the problem first try to find out why you are suffering is it just the physical body around you or there are layers around you which are not visible with the naked eye okay there are layers before a disease manifest inside your body first thing which gets disturbed is the emotions we start becoming angry or you start showing an emotion you where you are not comfortable some kind of fear develops inside some kind of sadness develops inside or th there are some kind of situation where you are not happy with everything which goes around so emotionally we start becoming sick first when this emotional sickness starts developing the second thing is mentally we start getting disturbed we start not liking anything around us we start becoming angry for simple simple things we start showing a different kind of reactions we might be in happy going guy suddenly our emotion starts changing 
so you need to understand emotional response are very very important once emotion response has started inside the body it changes the mental pattern only after the mental pattern it starts affecting the physical body that is why when medically any diseases are not able to maintain they ask us to practice or get into yoga sessions or meditation sessions or any kind of silence inside balance your emotions psychologist counseling psychiatrist all those things have started come up now because things are getting clear medically nowadays that problems are not only physical it is also psychological it is also emotional so what is the point in taking just a pill to suppress the so called diseases be awake just be aware that you are not suffering only with the physical body there are many layers around the physical body which are involved emotionally you need to handle yourself you need to really know what are the emotional disturbances are i am going through it without your knowledge you might be going through it those things has to be analyzed why is that is there any changes in myself is my behavior is something different of late yes observe and check it up the answer will definitely be yes that there is some kind of behavior changes has started inside me the same thing happens with any kind of sickness let it be cancer let it be brain diseases let it be simple low back pain we say it is a mechanical pull but doesn't happen to everybody people just lift things what kind of emotions you were at that situation what was your breath at that situation really important to say so from a simple back catch to each and every problem emotions are very 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 important there are many methods available to know what kind of problem i am going through let it be emotional let it be physical let it be psychological let it be social any kind of information can easily be tracked up by means of a counseling session where generally we sit with you understand the various kind of terms what you use from your mouth the words really helps us to find out what is the emotion you are going through it apart from this there are various analysis available of this all or alternative method of system the first one is acugraph acugraph there are latest versions available helps us to find out the meridians or we say these are the nadis these are cannot be detected by medical analysis at all by meridian analysis we will come to know which organ in your body is becoming low which organ in your body is functioning high which organ in your body is really disturbed what kind of emotional disturbances i am going through or how do i manage those emotional disturbances when i say nadis these are the meridians or the pathway which runs on the entire body whenever one particular pathway is blocked for example any block in this pathway will affect anything lower down the pathway or upper down the blocks either it will affect heart right side sorry heart on this block if if it is on the right side it is going to affect the liver or on the right lung or anywhere it can give a pain on the right shoulder also so the blocks has to be found out acugraph is one of the very good analysis the second analysis is on the chakras chakras on the chakral analysis gdv photography is excellent to understand what kind of disturbances what kind of chakras are imbalance each and every chakra signifies each and every hormones of your body so we don't relate everything with alternative system every alternative system has got its medical connection for sure so there are seven energy centers which has been diagnosed or which has been found out about 5 to 10000 years before now we call these seven energy centers in the form of 
hormones. So which chakra is disturbed? Which hormone is disturbed? How to balance those hormones? When you understand each and every chakra controls one kind of emotions. So we are going to diagnose the nadis in your system. There is an analysis of the chakras in your system. Then we followed by a medical analysis which will be spoken by your blood reports. When we understand all three together we will be very clear like why am I suffering with such a diseases when I do my routines. Now just today one of my friend with 36 year old old it's just land up with a heart attack where he has a very active lifestyle. What, the question he asks is when I do an active lifestyle when I eat healthy when I do everything properly still why do I get my disease all the answers all the questions will be answered only when you sit and analyze why am I really suffering your analysis should be based on five layers the physical body the mental body the emotion systems the nadis and the chakra concept unless and until we understand the system as a whole we cannot treat any diseases in our system so this should be really an eye-opener for you that when I or when me or when somebody suffer just understand have you diagnosed properly or are you simply taking some medications I am taking medicine for blood pressure I am taking medicine for diabetes I am taking medicine for such a such a disease do you think your medicines are really helping you if a diabetes medicine helps you why people with diabetes still land up with complications if blood pressure medicines are really helping you why is that kidneys are still in a danger of disturbances over a period of time there is no you are only suppressing the disease you are just being happy by seeing the medical reports that my diabetes values are normal my blood pressure values are normal it is not true we are getting biased only with the reports it's time to awaken ourselves we need to really understand I don't want to treat so-called numbers of diabetes of blood pressure of cancer cells of the heart value we don't want to treat the numbers we want to understand why did I get into this and what is the permanent solution for it if you don't awaken now it will be too late so with that I will conclude today's in uh, informations on health thank you very much